my name is Rick Pasek, the Flyfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today, another uh, leech pattern for the month of leeches. Um, got about another six to go. Yeah, I think that six or seven to go um, in the month of leeches. So uh, today, we're going to do a, uh, a vampire leech, my version of it. It's pretty close to the original, to Todd Oshie's original, but uh, this is uh, kind of my version of the vampire leech. I tie it in a couple of different ways. So here we go oh by the way before i even get going actually i'll switch back over here uh we've got 1500 members now subscribers on the channel so i'll be giving away a copy of the osprey's uh fly fishers um um uh, tying book that they have out um, i've got a copy of that so in this video make a comment uh, about what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future like what 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 uh, type of patterns you'd like to see me tie um, and that'll put you uh, make you eligible for the uh, for the draw all right so now let's get back at her so today in the vice we have a uh, hannock um, h450 bl in a size 10 um, I tie these in the 8 10 12 14 depending um, then I've got a uh, uh, get that bead on properly yep there we go we got a uh, in this case it's a tungsten um a chartreuse but i also like tying these did really 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 well actually last weekend here um, in central alberta on this exact fly right here with the orange bead that orange bead just it just drove nuts it was uh, it was a great day so uh, i'll be using some uh, zempfly nano silk in black um i'll be using some hens marabou just one little bunch of hens marabou in black uh, for flash in the tail i'll be using some zemperfly uh, gala and red blend just a couple of a couple of uh, uh, things i don't want much in there uh, and then i've got two choices i can either go with the all black um so here you go that's the uh, straggle legs from zemperfly in black or I can go with a slightly longer, and this is the uh, micro chenille straggle string. Again, they call it black, but it's got some blue in it and stuff. So it just it depends what you what you want. Today I'm tying the all black. Okay, so let's get her started. Build up just a little bit of a thread dam right behind that bead, just a little bit, just to get so that bead doesn't move on us. Cut that off. Take my marabou and I'm going to strip the marabou off of the quill. So I'm going to, I know I'm going to need about two finger widths. Let's see if I can show you guys about two finger widths off the quill. So that's about how much I'm going to grab off of the quill and I'm going to grab it, fold it over, grab it, fold it over, grab it and fold it over. And that's off of the one side of the quill. Okay, then I'm just going to gather that together, this little package that I just made, and I'm just going to cut off those ugly butts. I don't worry about the length of the tail right now. I'm just going to tie that in, offer it up right behind that bead, and come on back. And I don't want a huge body on these either. Like, you can go, if you want, all the way back to there, like back to where the, the bend is. I don't like doing that. I come back, I come forward to about where the, halfway between where the barb would be and the tip. Okay, lift my tail, go in behind, and over, in behind, and over. That'll help make sure that doesn't foul. Okay, so now, about the length of the body plus a bit. So about there is where I'm going to nip it off. So I'm just going to transfer over here. And just nip off with my fingers rough I want it to be I don't want to cut edge so never ever 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 cut marabou so I forget that oh I did too I didn't cut my uh, my tag off that's weird I swear I did okay so I never cut marabou give it a little bit of a lick just to keep it under control for you then I'm gonna take Two strands, that's it. Two little strands of this Gollum Red Blend. I'm just gonna hook it onto my 
thread, bring it up, just tie that on, and then I'm going to make sure I got two going down either side. Now, excuse my hands, two going down either side there. That's it. And I'm going to cut that just a slight tad longer than the tail. Just, I mean, a slight tad. Okay. So now I'm going to come back forward and I'm going to get a piece of my, I'm going to go, like I said, with the straggle legs today. Um, I, I like both. I like having both in my, in my kit, but uh, this is the one that just, I don't know, it just seems to be for me, um, it works just that much better. These are slightly longer legs um, than the other one and they're, they're just straight black, right? So they don't have that, they don't have that uh, UV in it. Now, I like both, like I said, I like both. Today I'm just tying this one up, but I, I do, here I, I do tie them in, in both. So that's with the UV, right? So, um, but uh, like I said, I like having both in my box because sometimes they want it with the, with that UV property, sometimes they don't. So, and I'm just making sure I stroke back all the fibers every time I go around just to make sure that they're not getting trapped, at least not too bad. It's not a huge deal. The, this is supposed to be kind of scraggly looking, this fly. Um, I was fishing this one under an indicator in about eight feet of water last week and about eight feet of water set at about four and a half feet and it was just crazy. It was crazy. We, uh, we've got some really nice tigers and some really nice rainbows on this. So um, for about an hour and a half, two hours, it was just non-stop. So again, snip that off. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my Sally's. Again, just because I don't want to trap anything in here, so I'm just going to give a little bit of a, a little bit of a Sally's right directly to my thread. And then grab my whip finisher. Two, three, four, five, six. And she is finished. So like I said, I, I'll fish this in a few different ways. My favorite is to hang this thing under an indicator. And uh, I really like using the jig hooks because it'll kind of hang like about like that in the water column, right? And I like tying them onto a uh, onto a, a loop style knot, uh, perfection loop, whatever, right? Just to give it that little bit extra movement, allow it to move. So, but uh, yeah, so that is the uh, that that's the uh, the vampire leech. Like I said, my version of the vampire leech. It's pretty very pretty close to Todd Oshie's original, um, but again, I think his has more of the UV in it. Um, let's see, do I have another one? Yeah, there we go. I got one tied with the UV in the jig style, right? So, um, and yeah, they are a little rough looking, but they work, they work really, really, really well. So, alrighty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, it's a great one to add to your arsenal and don't forget, make a comment about what kind of, uh, what kind of flies you'd like to see me tie in the future here, uh, to get entered for the draw to the, uh, for the Osprey's, uh, uh, fly fishing book. Um, alrighty. Tie lines, everyone. See you next time video.